In this video, I'm going to use a protractor to draw some angles. Suppose we are given an angle that we're told to draw, and we're told that the measure, so M for measure, of the angle, and we can give it any three letters we want, um, say it was cat, C-A-T. So the measure of angle C-A-T is, we're told that it's 40 degrees. So what we have to do first with our protractor is we have to first get some initial side. So you can use the straight edge of your protractor, and we're going to draw an initial side. So really just use the straight edge here. I'm going to actually undo that, and I'm going to use um, a, a line tool to make it a little more accurate. So I'm going to use, pretend like I'm using the straight edge, but I'm going to draw an initial side like this. And then from either end of this segment, either from this side or from the other side, I'm going to do 40 degrees. And you can actually use either one. So we usually use the left side because we're used to having zero on the right side here. You'll notice on this protractor, there's a zero on here and there's also a zero on here. So I'm gonna show both. So if I use this zero over here, I'm gonna follow up from zero to get to um, the angle that I'm looking for. So the angle I'm looking for again is 40. So I'm gonna follow from zero up to 40. So the angle is gonna be a curve like that. And then I'm gonna use my protractor. I'm gonna mark on the edge Switch back to black here. So where 40 is will be right about here. So I'm gonna mark on the edge there. And then I'm gonna use, again, the protractor. I'm gonna turn it. And I'm going to turn it so that I can use it as a straight edge to connect between that mark and our, my vertex. And that will make the 40 degree angle. It's always important when you're drawing an angle though, of course, is to label the arc of the angle. So this right here is 40 degrees. If you don't label that arc, you really have a second angle as well that we don't want. This angle is also something that you drew without realizing. That angle would be 360 minus 40, which we don't want. We want just the 40 degree angle that we have here. So I told you it can be either side. So let me show the other way of doing this. So, oops, let me just move down here a second. So a different way of doing this is just to then start from the right side instead of the left side. So I could draw again in any initial side. It could be any way I want, but usually we just draw it kind of horizontally, horizontally like this. But I could take this protractor and I could turn it so that it was lined up the other way. So on the right side of that initial side. If I were to do that, I'd have to then follow the other zero. So I used this zero on the right last time, but I'm going to use this zero on the left because the initial side over here is at zero right here. So I would follow that up to 40 like that. And then I would make a mark on this 140 or 40. It's kind of the same idea here because they share that same line. So right on the edge there, I'm going to mark. And then I would turn the protractor, use it as a straight edge here, lining up that mark and my vertex. Should have made a smaller mark so it's more accurate. Something like that. I think it was a little more in the middle. And then I'm going to draw it out like this. And now this angle here is 40 degrees. So either way you draw it, we're still making an acute angle that's 40 degrees. And that's the best way to check your work. If you did 140 by mistake, it would be very obvious because it would be an obtuse angle. 40 degrees is less than 90, so it has to look less than 90. It has to look acute. Let's do one that is obtuse. Let's do one more example here that is obtuse. Um, so let's suppose the measure of an angle, um, how about dog? We did cat, now let's do dog. D-O-G, suppose it is obtuse, suppose it is 150 degrees. What we would do for that is the same idea. We would draw any initial side that you want. Pick a vertex, so I can pick this left one to be the vertex or the right one. Again, it doesn't matter. Um, but whatever I pick, I'm going to line up the center of my protractor on. Then I'm going to turn it so that... The other side is at zero. I'm going to follow up from zero until I get to 150. So here's zero here. I'm going to follow it all the way to 150. So that's the mark I want to make over here. There's the 150 mark. Then I'm going to, again, take my protractor as a straight edge and connect between that mark and the vertex like this. And then I already drew the arc in, but you would need to make sure you have the arc in yourself. So this arc right here, this angle is 150 degrees. An obtuse angle, clearly bigger than 90 degrees. And that's how we use a protractor to draw angles.